Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So this video is about what is under the bonnet there in this Hyundai Ionic Electric. I've made a few of these videos on other EVs so you can have a look at the YouTube channel to see the same for other electric vehicles. So this car is a 2017 Ionic uh, Premium SE with the 28 kilowatt hour battery pack. So you don't get any gas struts holding up the bonnet, so you have to use the old fashioned bonnet stay. So looking underneath, it looks remarkably like a petrol or diesel engine. If you didn't know what you were looking at, you would think this was a normal ICE vehicle. So this is your electric motor stack. And for some reason, they've got a plastic cover on the top. And I just don't know the reason why. Obviously with a a petrol or diesel car it might give some sort of form of um, sound insulation but obviously there's no sound with an electric vehicle it just looks like this is here for um to make it look pretty i don't know it's just completely pointless no insulation of course um it's just covering the top of the inverter stack there i really can't see the point which is a bit unusual because everything else about the high end ionic is all about weight saving and efficiency um, for example, this uh, bonnet is aluminium and the tailgate's aluminium and the glass in the tailgate's particularly thin. Um, it's all about weight saving and then they go and put things like that on. Um, and, you know, initially I looked at it and thought, is it something to do with airflow there? But I cannot see that it has any purpose at all. Anyway, if you know otherwise, then let me know in the comments. So this is your motor stack. Right down there at the bottom is the electric motor, which is driving the front wheels. And then these other units on top, all housed in aluminium, is all the electronics. So you've got your charging systems and your inverter. And as you can see, there's hoses off it all. It is all water cooled as well. You've got a little radiator at the front. Um, and that just keeps all the electronics cool. And then everything that is orange is your high voltage cables. That's the same with all hybrids and um, EVs. All the, the dangerous cables are, are coloured orange. So your battery pack is at the back. So all the high voltage um, lines coming to the front are all in orange. Um, on the Ionic, your charging port is at the back as well. So everything is coming from the rear of the car. And we've got the air conditioning system. This uses a, a heat pump, um, but nothing unusual there. And then here we've got a 12 volt battery. So all electric cars have a standard 12 volt battery. Um, with the Japanese and Korean cars, they tend to use a slightly uh, more unusual shape, a very tall, thin, upright battery, but it's just a bog standard 12 volt battery. So you have a 12 volt battery because your headlights, your dash, your wipers, all the ECUs in the car, because the car's full of lots of ECUs, um, they're all standard 12 volt. So they ha haven't rewritten the book. So you need a 12 volt system and the battery uh, runs all of that. And you need the battery working to start the car because you've got to switch on the ignition, unlock the, cent uh, the central locking, unlocks the doors and all of that's 12 volt. Um, so just like a petrol or diesel car, it's reliant on that 12 volt battery to start the vehicle. However, in this case, it's not turning over an engine, so they, they can be quite small batteries. All it's doing is turning on uh, your dashboard and relays and circuitry. But with a petrol or diesel engine, you have a, um, an alternator charging the battery while you go off the engine. But of course, we don't have an engine here. So the 12 volt battery is charged by the 400 volt battery underneath um, through a DC to DC inverter here. And that's taking the 400 volt to 14 volt to charge the battery while you drive. The rest is standard car stuff, uh, fuses, brake reservoir. You've got the um, windscreen washer bottle down there, um, your air conditioning top up lines. The rest of it is all pretty standard. So because it has a cooling system, you still have a radiator and we've got a big fan here on the back of the radiator, just like every normal car. However, you've got no grill here. So the front of the car is blanked off here. So on a um, petrol or hybrid version, this will be a vented grill, but we still have an air intake. You still have a very slim air intake down here going through the radiator. You just don't need as much cooling on an EV as you do on a petrol engine. This is why they blank this off. While we're here, I'll just mention the badge on this. So you'll notice that a lot of modern cars don't uh, now have three-dimensional 
um, badges on the front of them. Instead, they have this very flat, smooth badge um, in plastic, and that's because the radar system is um, behind there. So this car's got adaptive cruise control and semi-autonomous driving and the radar unit sits down there and that saves having another unit. So you'll see on some cars you might have a black plastic panel in the middle of the grille and that's their radar. But the, the more modern way of doing it is to put it behind the badge or what used to be the badge. And on these your charging port is at the back because obviously the same body shell is used for the petrol and the hybrid version. So this would be your petrol filling cap but they haven't modified the front to put the charge ports there. It's just here at the back of the car where, um, as I said, where your filler would normally be. And you've got uh, type two AC and then CCS DC rapid charging. So now let's have a look underneath. One thing to note, the battery pack underneath sits very low, very little ground clearance on this car. The um, lift almost didn't go underneath. There's only a few centimeters clearance uh, much lower than it is on uh, other cars, even the BMW i3 uh, isn't as low as this. But then that all helps with the aerodynamics and the efficiency of this car, because this car is obviously incredibly efficient. So not a lot I can show you under here really. Um, this is obviously your rear axle here, and then this is your battery pack. Uh, it's all covered with this cover, which is made of some sort of compressed board and that runs the length of the vehicle. Um, there's a join there by the looks of it, but the full length right to the very front. So looking underneath, it is completely flat. So this is the cover under the electric motor at the front and the whole car is completely flat. So, you know, electric cars generally are flat because you've got a battery pack underneath, but they're not normally quite as flat as this and as uh, covered up and sealed in as this but again that's why this car is so efficient. I was hoping I could show you exactly where the battery is but there's too many covers to take off and I'm not going to do all of that now. However we can see in here at the back we're under the boot floor there's an orange connector here so uh, clearly the battery pack probably continues under the boot floor here as well. And then up there, next to the curl spring, we can see the orange high voltage cables coming from the charge port up there. So let's get this safely down. So I hope you liked the video. If you do, then please click the thumbs up on YouTube because that helps other people find these videos. And maybe subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of other EV content on there. And there we go, the car's safely back on the ground.